It is Tropical Update time. I'm Dave Schwartz, and Mike Seidel is in Hurricane Central. Good to see you, Mike. Mike, all is quiet in the Atlantic and Gulf right now, but we're still tracking two TDs and a TF in the Pacific. What's up? Well, two TDs, brand new ones in the Pacific. We'll get to those, but look at this. The wave action from Typhoon Manyi, which is now rolling up the east coast of Japan. Huge waves still predicted today and tonight, 18 to 24 feet. We've had one fatality, 56 injured. Hundreds of thousands have had to evacuate. Peak wind gusts so far measured on land was in Okinawa yesterday at 105 miles an hour. Still are expecting some areas to get 40 inches of rain, so flooding and mudslides a concern. Take a look at the latest from Man Yi. It's now a very weak typhoon as of late this morning, Eastern Time. It's already oh, early morning Sunday in Japan, and this island here, the main island, is going to be brushed by the typhoon during the day Sunday. But look at the wind, 75 miles an hour. So it is just barely a typhoon in the Atlantic Basin. It would just barely be a hurricane. It is now being picked up by the westerly wind, so it's racing off to the northeast, 20 to 25 miles an hour. You can see it's going to be just brushing uh, the southeast and uh, southern coast. And again, the rain uh, will be the major impact and the uh, tides and the waves, not so much the wind now as it weakens later today and tonight below hurricane or typhoon status. Back in the Atlantic Basin, where we always call them hurricanes, things are very, very lovely right now. A little batch of cloudiness coming off the coast of Africa. Cape Verde season really not kicking in yet. Water's still a little bit too chilly, so no concerns there. And the rest of the basin, beautiful, beautiful weather. How about the Antilles from St. Lucia uh, right up towards Barbuda? Just a few trade wind clouds, and the trade wind's keeping you nice and cool, running at about 15 miles an hour. A little flare up there heading uh, through the southeastern Bahamas, but no concerns there. We've got too much sinking air in this area and the rest of the tropics too much wind energy too much uh, wind aloft or wind shear so the gulf of mexico even if there were some thunderstorms they wouldn't have much of a chance to develop we do have a little flare up over there in central america just north of panama through honduras and nicaragua right up towards belize and the yucatan which will spark some storms but these are over land primarily so no development expected